Hi Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for August 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs or book a personal reading if you want. All that information is in the description box and also because it is general the roles can be reversed or a little mixed matched. All right, so let's see, Libra, what is going on? What is the overall energy for the first half of August? All right. Okay, we have patience. I know, I kind of feel like that's an annoying energy to get, especially as the overall energy, but it could be a number of things, all right? It, it's not necessarily telling you to be patient, although it definitely could be. Um, it could just be that, yes, you know, patience may have been a major lesson that you've been learning or that, <clears throat> or that you just currently are being patient, either within a connection or with your own self. So let's see. <clears throat> Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of August. <clears throat> All right, so for your situation, okay, starting off with the devil crossed by the six of wands. Hold on, let me just get a little bit of the rest of them recent past. We have the sun, near future we have the knight of pentacles, for your energy, the Nine of Pentacles, for them, the Two of Swords. More about you is the Four of Cups. For them, the Five of Swords and potential outcome, the Tower. Okay. Libra, what is going on here? I feel like this isn't... It just doesn't seem typical of like the um, regular Libra readings that I've done so far. Wow, okay. So first of all, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. There's also Leo. Um, yeah. There is a situation here that is toxic, unhealthy, there's something going on, all right, within a situation where it just feels like there's a lot of drama. Um, somebody is having a hard time really getting that under control or really just um, finding a successful solution to this. I feel like whoever this is, they're trying. They're trying to it, here's how it, what it feels like. It feels like this person, which I kind of feel like it is the other person and not you. Um, although, of course, roles can be reversed. All right, but I do feel like it's the other person because they have the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. Um, it feels like this person is trying to win in the wrong way when it comes to a very um, toxic situation that has a lot of drama in it. It's like they're trying to win or try to, trying to come out on top. So it's, it's almost like they're not really um, resolving it in the, in the right way, which is, it doesn't mean that it will always be that way, right? Because we do see the um, Knight of Pentacles in the near future, which does suggest taking the right path and, you know, beginning to think maybe a little bit more practically and more rationally and just kind of taking a step back and being like, okay, wait, all right. We need to figure this out in a more um, practical type of a way. Um, in the recent past, having the sun, there was definitely some sunshine here. All right, there recently there was um, something that seemed to be. I will actually will clarify that. I don't always clarify the past, but I will clarify this one um, for you. The Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So you're trying to detach yourself from this situation, and I feel like you are doing a good job at it, but there's also a little bit of, of disappointment, possibly when it comes to this connection or to this um, situation. Almost like, you know, this isn't how you would have wanted things to turn out, but, you know, since that's what it is, you're doing your own thing and you're doing you, which is actually pretty good. Um, for the other person here, I feel like they're kind of stuck in a, 
it almost feels like they're the ones stuck in this situation, but almost like you're not. So I don't know if this is a separate situation or if it is something between the two of you, but you're just kind of getting yourself out of it or you've removed yourself, but I feel like this person is still in that situation. Um, they And it feels like they just really don't know what to do about it. And again, it's like this person um, with the Five of Swords here, it's like they're trying to win, but in, in a way where at the moment, at least, it's not bringing them the results that they would want. And I feel like that's why then, okay, yeah, we do have the Knight of Pentacles beginning to take steps in the right way, and then boom, there's the tower, potential outcome, things blowing up. That tower needs to come down, which is actually very positive in this particular case because this tower is reflecting on the devil. Like, that devil needs to come down, that toxic situation, the drama, that's, like, <laughs> getting demolished. So it's a very positive card to have at the end of this type of a reading. So let's clarify. So I can see now why patience might be needed. Um, even if you're not waiting for this person, it, it, I mean, because it does not necessarily mean that you need to have patience for this person. All right, no. I feel like it's more of patience with your own self for whatever it is that you need to process um, getting yourself out of this. All right, so Libra, let's see. Let's clarify the devil with the six of wands. The three of swords, the ten of pentacles, and the two of swords. Yeah, okay, so this is definitely your person here. All right, this is how it's coming through. Unless the roles are reversed, just, you know, reverse the roles. Um, there's a lot of pain also, a lot of pain involved in this um, situation, the unhealthy one. I do feel like whatever this situation is, it does involve of, um, some kind of a commitment here with the Ten of Pentacles. There is some kind of, there, there's like a strong sense of responsibility or um, commitment or something here. And again, because we do have the Two of Swords, I feel like this is your person here. Just really not having done much about it. Maybe they've tried in the past because um, it does feel like they are trying. But the way that they were trying was just not really um, getting them anywhere. And this situation is causing them a lot of pain. So let's clarify the sun for the recent past. In some cases, this could even represent children which I don't think is going to be for all of you, but definitely for a specific group of you, it could. Let's see, the sun, recent past. The Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you know what this is? I mean, this could even be that there was a point in time where things just felt fulfilling um, before this devil showed up. Um, it's almost as if somebody walked away from happiness, and I don't feel like that was an easy thing. Um, I feel like there was actually some resistance to that happiness. Kind of like letting happiness go. Like it was there, it was like so close, and then just allowing it... Um, to slip away or just even deliberately walking away from it for whatever reason. I have a feeling that it's um, due to a complicated situation here, all right, with that, that nine of wands, just a lot of, um, feeling a lot of pressure, feeling a lot of strain. Um, yeah, it's going to be different for all of you, but basically somebody walked away from happiness here. All right, let's see the nine of pentacles for you. All right, we have the Six of Wands and we have the Sun. You're doing a really good job, Libra, moving towards your own happiness here. Wow. You're really, and I feel like you know it, you're feeling really good. You're feeling really good about yourself. You're feeling good about this path that you're taking. You feel like you have already accomplished something. And if not, that's like coming up for you very, very um, quickly, all right? You're moving towards that sun. Look at that, look at you here.
And it's like you're doing this on your own. Like this is independent of the situation here. Let's see the Four of Cups because, there, like I said, there is some disappointment. Justice and the Hermit. Okay, well, yeah, see, so again, here is your, um, your element showing up here, all right, with Justice. But it's together with the Hermit as well. So, yeah, there's this disappointment kind of that you're doing this on your own. I feel like the disappointment is that, you know, in order for things to be right and in order for you to be just to your own self and to do the right thing for you, it actually meant having to do things on your own, having to withdraw from this um, situation. And I feel like that is what the disappointment is because maybe at some point, you know, you were hoping that, you know, this would have been resolved and this movement going back to that sun would have happened together with this person and it, it didn't. So you had to make, make a decision here and do the right thing for you, which was to actually withdraw, remove yourself from the situation. So yeah, even though you're moving towards happiness and you're feeling victorious about that, there's still that a little bit of disappointment here that it had to be this way. So let's see for them. Let's see the Two of Swords. All right, the Page of Cups and Temperance. This person is torn. This person is torn when it comes to their um, their emotions. I feel like they're having a really hard time just sorting their emotions. I feel like their emotions are probably like all over the place. Um, I feel like they go from one extreme to the next. Uh, like on the one hand, feeling very, very strongly about something and then on the other hand, trying to reject that. Um, and so because of that, they're just kind of staying where they are in this drama. Because they just, it, they're having a hard time finding that stability. In order to be able to see the situation more clearly and move in the right direction. And so in, in a way, it's almost like they're sabotaging their own self by staying stagnant. But again, it's because their emotions are all over the place. Now, I do get here that they do have emotions for you. The emotions are definitely there. But I feel like when it comes to actually acknowledging them or taking action on those emotions, it's like a roller coaster, up and down. There's a lack of balance there. Let's see the Five of Swords, get a little more information here. the Nine of Pentacles, the world, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see, so again, another two, and it's the Two of Pentacles. Um, a lot of juggling, a lot of juggling. They're having a hard time managing whatever this situation is that they are still stuck in. Whatever that situation is, they this is something that they want to um, remove themselves from as well, all right? Look, they're getting the Nine of Pentacles now. They want to put an end to this with the world. Um, they want to complete this, but what we're clarifying here is the Five of Swords. It feels like they're doing it in a way where, again, it's... They're not coming out victorious, right? With the Five of Swords, you're, it feels like you're winning, but, but, but really you're not. And this is what their challenge is here as well, right? With the Six of Wands, is to have that victory over this devil. So... There's a lot of back and forth. It's a roller coaster ride for them at the moment when it comes to removing themselves from the situation and closing it out. But again, that's why we have the tower here because that's things are going to blow up. Things are going to come crashing down. I feel like something huge is going to happen um, to change this. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles for the near future.
All right, the King of Pentacles. All right, good. And the Hierophant. So somebody is really, this is Taurus energy showing up here. Um, somebody is really, and actually just any earth sign. Somebody is really moving forward here, okay? So yes, it might take a little bit of time or maybe it is taking a little bit of time, but this is a lot of stability, all right? And I do see that even though it might be moving slowly, it does eventually pick up the pace here with the King of Pentacles, somebody really finding their grounding. And I do feel like it's the other person because I feel like you're already in that energy. You're already there. Whereas this person is still moving towards that. This person is moving towards finding that sense of stability that I was talking about before, which is missing here. Having learned lessons, being more mature. I feel like this is um, representing a lot of maturity that is coming up. And I feel like that, that maturity is kind of going to happen very, very quickly. It's kind of like with um, what I was saying before here with Temperance and the Two of Swords is that they're going back and forth between extreme emotions, right? And it's like slowly, it, everything is going to get less and less extreme until they find that happy medium. I feel like that's what this is. That's what that maturity is going to be. And really having a deeper understanding and a higher learning of this situation. It's, it's almost like, you know, they just can't stand this, this roller coaster and this drama anymore. They just want peace and quiet and stability. So let's see the tower. All right, and we have the Ten of Cups. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> see, I knew it. I knew this tower was not was not something that would be negative. It's actually very positive. It might feel negative in the beginning. Of course, it always does. Um, it's a big transition. It's a big shift. It's a big change. Um, things just really being destroyed and having to start over. But that tower is actually giving the opportunity for the Ten of Cups to come in. So I really feel like this is actually for your person because I'm seeing you as being um, pretty balanced at the moment. Um, yes, a little bit of disappointment, but you overall you are balanced and you are moving towards your happiness, finding yourself, feeling victorious, feeling good. This is definitely your person, this situation coming crashing down in order to give that opportunity for the Ten of Cups. Whether it be together or not, it doesn't matter, but this is the Ten of Cups here, regardless, all right? And I feel like this is definitely um, in your future as well because you're moving towards that sun successfully. So yeah, um, patience, patience, patience. I feel like, I actually feel like that's, <laughs> possibly you've been very patient. I feel like this is a lesson that you have learned. You've learned patience and this is why you are now able to move on. By no means am I saying for you to be patient and wait for somebody, all right? I don't want anyone taking it that way. All right, so Libra. If anything, it's more for your person here. Patience with their own self. And finding that balance. Interesting that we keep getting this blessed card um, popping up. I feel like this is at least the third time it showed up. Um, blessed and higher power. All right, this is a very powerful combination because and I actually feel like we got this combination before too. All right, very interesting. Okay, common themes happening um, this time around for a lot of the zodiacs. Know that you are being divinely guided. I feel like this is just like something I've been repeating over and over again this time around because these cards keep showing up. So apparently the collective needs to hear that. And I know we hear it all the time, but I feel like this is um, this point is being very, very emphasized. Now more than ever, we need to truly um, trust our divine guidance that we feel from within, all right? There's a higher power that is supporting us and helping us to move forward towards what it is that we want, towards being happy, towards our wish fulfillment. All right, Libra, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.